Luna the cat is used to strangers. Today, yet another group is looking around the Freiburg estate. It's outside and we have, and we have more than 20 centimeters isolation. These visitors come from Taiwan. They're in Germany to take a look at the Schlierberg solar estate. Another group from Korea was just leaving when they arrived, and a party from France is scheduled for this afternoon. The residents of these 58 homes are used to people taking guided tours through the pioneering community and marveling at the solar panels on their roofs. The houses cost at least 2,300 euros per square meter, so they're not a bargain. Two, 2,300 uh, 2, for every square meter, yes. It's very interesting. You need but despite a high initial purchase price, the houses are economical in other ways, too. Heating costs in houses this size elsewhere in Germany can be five times as high. The visitors from Taiwan are impressed. Uh, we hope that we can bring more clean energy and uh, renewable energy to the, to the world, especially to the Asia. It's not uh, so advanced like uh, Germany. So I think this is a very good example to introduce to our country and the people in Asia, because there's also a lot of sunshine there. Fortunately, Freiburg is the warmest city in Germany. Solar technology made in Germany is a world leader. Solar modules installed on roofs have been around for decades. The architect who designed these houses is considered a pioneer. If he exported his solar designs abroad, Rolf Disch could no doubt make millions. But that's not what he wants. To be perfectly honest, I was never interested in the big bucks. Of course, it's important to have the capital to realize your projects. Any spare money is plowed back into further development and new solar energy concepts. But what's interesting for the people who live here is that once they own the solar plant, their additional costs go down. In fact, they can even make money. So they're the real winners. It's a concept that works in Germany. That's because privately generated solar power can be fed into the national grid at prices set by the government. Effectively, the residents have become eco-entrepreneurs. Martin Hoya is one of them. What's this? This shows how much power is used. The blue line shows last year, this curve shows how much power is generated, and this one shows how much is used. What does it tell us? It tells us we generate on average three times as much power as we use. That means that he and his wife earn some 5,000 euros a year with their solar plant. Barbara Schwer has never regretted buying the house. She's reluctant to tell us how much it cost, but it certainly wasn't cheap. We wouldn't have been able to afford the house without my husband's inheritance. It cost more than a normal house. But will you make some of the money back with the surplus power? Well, the power does help pay for the solar plant we had to buy, but it will probably take 10 to 12 years before the surplus power helps us redeem the full cost. Nonetheless, with energy prices continuing to rise, the couple are confident they made the right decision. But for today, they and Luna the cat have had enough guests.